So we're all set up for our solo overnight tarp camping in the woods. Let's take a look at some of the kit we're using tonight. The British Army Basher, my favorite of all the tarps. Not the most lightweight, but in this environment with the DPM pattern, it's very effective. And with the sheer amount of tie-off points, you can configure it however you wish. So in this instance, I haven't got a ground sheet, so I've utilized a basher and gone with the Lean 2 with a ground sheet. There's another name for it. I can't remember what it is, so if you know it, leave it in the comment section. The British Army bivy bag, again with the DPM pattern, the strength, the durability, and the huge amount of space inside of it is awesome. Inside the bivy bag, we have the British Army jungle sleeping bag. It's summer, where it's summer, there's bugs, and where there's bugs, bugs bite. So it's nice to have the mesh feature that goes along with this sleeping bag. Beneath the sleeping bag, we have the OEX Traverse self inflate and roll mat, a decent kit. Never had any problems with it so far, so why change it? So I'm going spider. So I'm going to fold the bivy bag over on itself. In hopes that no bugs are gonna get inside. So ordinarily, with camp set up, we'd be collecting our firewood right now, but no firewood collection tonight. Uh, campfires are not allowed. Unfortunately, uh, this woodland has suffered several arson attacks over the past few weeks with the fire service being called and uh, fire watch monitoring the area. That's why we're being a little more stealthy tonight. So instead, we're using our little gas stove. This gas stove, well over a year old, it's been knocked, bumped, trod on it's had milk boil over and seep into the chambers it's been drenched but it keeps on going and we're using the stanley adventure cook set tonight i've been putting it through its paces so we should expect a review on it soon but for now let's get ourselves some coffee on the go cowboy style It's a good coffee. It's a funny thing, there's so many gimmicky gadgets out there that enable you to make coffee in the outdoors when this is one of the best coffees you'll ever have. If you follow the method correctly, and all you need is a pot, water, coffee, stove, or a fire, no gimmicks needed. So I don't know whether you guys have seen it or not, whether the camera's picked it up or not, but just behind our camp here is a block of salt lick. So every now and again, I like to get back to the forest. And on this occasion, I brought in a block of salt lick. And this was before the birth of our son. So over five weeks ago now. And this is the result. Check it out.
They haven't been interested at all. Uh, fail. Stare as they need it. We had some chunky lamb soup for dinner. It was chunky everything but lamb. Chunky carrots, chunky potatoes. Not impressed. Next order of business. Let's get this cleaned out. I could leave it till tomorrow. If I wanted to scrape the consistency of concrete out of the pot and have it take half an hour rather than five minutes. So we'll do that now so we're ready for a coffee in the morning. That's it for us tonight. Um, it's only about 9.30, but this is the effects of having a month old child. I used to be cool, man. What happened? So it's been a good one. It's been relaxing. The amount of time you have when you don't have to collect firewood, it's nice to sit back and relax. So for now, call it a night. I'm gonna get myself closed up behind the, uh, the bug net and uh, say good night. I'll see you guys in the morning. Wakey, wakey, got ourselves a coffee on the go. Let's get this morning started. So how did we sleep? I was out like a light. Nothing was waking me up. Although I was a bit too hot in the jungle sleeping bag, that just goes to show the quality and performance of military surplus. It's a one season bag. 
I'm still getting too hot. Overall, we had a good day yesterday, had a good night. Now, it's a good morning. So now we're gonna enjoy the last of this coffee and the last of the peace, and uh, we'll start striking camp. So that's us done, all our gear stuffed into the Dutch Army day pack, a relatively lightweight camp. And we're leaving no trace as always. Now, if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. And if you haven't already yet, but you really want to, then please subscribe. Thank you for watching. As always, it's been emotional. And we'll see you on the next one.